All right, this is fourth grade, module three, lesson 20. And in this lesson, uh, we're going to be solving division problems without remainders. Uh, we're going backwards again and revisiting the concept of the area model. So we haven't dropped the standard algorithm. I think the point of all these lessons is for the students who are ready to continue with the standard algorithm, differentiate and allow students to use the standard algorithm. Uh, but the area model is uh, giving students a chance. For those who don't quite have the standard algorithm yet, here's another chance for them to s develop the deep understanding of what's going on so that they have a chance at memorizing or understanding that standard algorithm. So first, a quick recap on what is the area model. The idea is with this four, that means we're, we're talking about an, a rectangle that has a height of four. And we know that the area of the rectangle is supposed to be 96 square units. So the question would be, well, how wide is that rectangle? So let's do it in parts. Well, if we know if we know that if it was 10 units wide, that would be an area of 40. Another 10 units would be an area of 40 as well. So uh, if it was 20 units wide, I'm going to write that down, 20 units wide, that means we know it would use an area of 80 square units. And then we can see that by doing subtraction, 96 minus 80, we have 16 square units left over. And so we can say, well, can we continue on building on to our rectangle? The idea is, yeah, we can. If we make it uh, a width of 4 and a height of 4, well, technically these should be the same length, huh, because it's 4 and 4. But anyway, uh, if it's a width of 4 and a height of 4, that means it uses 16 square units, and that wraps up, that finishes all 96 uh, square units of area. So that means the answer is 24. So the width of our rectangle is 24. Now, a way to show this using the distributive property is we could say, well, let's take that 96 and we can break it up into 80 and 16. And we can see that 80 divided by 4 gives us 20. And we can see that 16 divided by 4 gives us 4. So our answer is, again, 24. So this is using that um, number bond and showing the distributive property. Right here, it's showing the area model. And let's get uh, practicing with some actual problems. So it says Maria solved the following problem using the area model. And look at the area model. What division problem did she solve? So if you think back on the previous slide, uh, we see that an area is 30, and this area is 24. So the combined area is 54 units squared divided by 3. And of course, the answer we could see is 18. All right, so this is the problem, the division problem that Maria solved. Now, question B says, we're supposed to use the area model, I mean the number bond, to represent what's going on. So let's do that. So we're going to say 54 goes here, and we know that 30 and 24 go here. And then we've got 30 right here. 30 divided by 3 gives us 10. And we've got 24 divided by 3 gives us 8. And we can see the 10 up here, and we can see the 8 right here. And so since this division is eight, uh, 10, this division is 8, the total is 18. And sure enough, that's what we knew the answer was all along. And then uh, we're going to use 42 divided by 3 using the area model. So that means our rectangle is going to have a height of 3 and an unknown width. But let's start with, the, with a width of 10 units. That means our area is 30 
square units. And if I do a little bit of subtraction, 42 minus 30, that gives me 12 more square units, which means this piece right here is 12 units, which means the width here is 4. So 3, a height of 3, a width of 4 means we're using 12 square units. And we've used up all 42 square units. And so our answer is 14. So writing that down, 42 divided by 3 gives us 14. Now they want us to use a number bond. So let's do that. So 42, we break it up into two sections, 30 and 12. That comes here. Now, 30 divided by 3 gives us 10. So 30 divided by 3 gives us 10. And then right here, 12 divided by 3 gives us 4. So 12 divided by 3 gives us 4. And now our answer is 10 plus 4 is 14. Another example of the area model. So we've got 60 divided by 4. And the real, you know, parents and teachers, the real reason I'm showing all these problems is because the area model for a lot of adults is so foreign. This is not at all how they were taught. And so I feel like it's important for me to share how to do it, how to understand it. Just because it's different from the way we learned it doesn't mean it's bad. So... We know that the area is supposed to be 60 square units. We have a height of 4. So let's start off with a width of 10. That gives us 40. Because if we used a width of 20, 20 times 4 is 80, and that's too much. Uh, it's beyond the 60. So that's why I started with 10. And we're always going to do 10 or 20 or 30 right here, or 40 or 50 or 60, some multiple of 10, right? And so we've used up 40 square units. And so we start with the 60. We subtract the 40 that we've used up so far. That means we have 20 square units left over. And so that means this rectangle has to use up 20 square units, which means the width is 5 because we know the height is 4. So 4 times 5 is 20. And so this tells us the answer. This tells us that 60 divided by 4 is 15. What would that look like using the number bond? Well, we'd say 60 is broken up into 40 and 20. And then in both cases, 40 divided by 4 is 10. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So 40 divided by 4 is 10. And... 20 divided by 4 is 5, and those two numbers added together give us 15. Now it says we're supposed to represent this, um, the division with the written, the standard algorithm. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got 60 divided by 4. So we've got 60 divided by 4. So 6 tens divided by 4 in the Four groups means each group is going to get one ten. We've used up four of our tens, and we have two tens left over. We have two tens left over and no ones at all, which means we can cash in everything, and we're going to end up with 20 ones. And 20 ones divided amongst four groups gives us five in each group. That means we're going to use up all 20 dots, and our remainder is 0. So once again, here our answer is 15. Here we could see our answer is 15. And way up at the top, we see that our answer is 15. Last one. I'm going to skip the area model because I think you get it by now. I'm just going to jump straight to that standard algorithm. The standard algorithm says, okay, 96 divided by 6. All right, well, you have 9 tens divided among 6 groups. It means each group is going to get one dot. So that means we've used up 6 
of our tens. We have three tens left over. Those three tens plus the six ones left over means we now have 36 ones left over. And 36 ones divided among six groups means each group gets six dots. That means we've used up all 36 dots and we have nothing left over. So our stand standard algorithm shows that the answer is 16. And if we wanted to check, it doesn't say we should, but, but let's check it anyway. 16 times 6. Well, uh, let's see, where am I? 6 times 6 is 36. So that's 6. We'll carry the three tens. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3 more tens. That gives us 9. So we get 96, which is exactly what we started with. So that tells us that 16 is probably correct. And that wraps up 4th grade, Module 3, Lesson 20, where we're st still solving division problems. This time it's without remainders. Uh, we're still using, occasionally we're, we're using the area model, but we're connecting it to that standard algorithm.